We're starting this video at now I think 7.30 in the morning, so if the energy seems a little bit low, just remember how early it is. Huge shout out to Brembo because they came in so clutch, literally a week before SEMA. Race Technologies has a little gift for us here. We have the GTS Big Brake Kit for the Supra. Now, I only think there's one other person. Uh, I think Sam Dew is gonna have these on for SEMA. There might be a few others, but to what I know, there's only us and one other Supra that's gonna have these. Real quick breakdown on these brakes. They're obviously a big brake kit. They are just for the front at the moment. They don't have the rears as of right now. So we're just gonna be installing the fronts, which is, I think, perfectly okay with everyone here because these are absolutely gorgeous. These are much larger than the stock setup, and we'll see that when we like put it up, the actual car. But these rotors are absolutely massive, nearly twice the size as the stock rotors. Now, you can get the GT calipers or the GTS. The GTs are, I would guess you'd call them your standard Brembos. I do that with air quotes because Brembos aren't standard. They're like baller and insane. And whenever you have an option to get these, these are absolutely a great option if you have the money for them. So these are the GTS calipers, which are the more track inspired. You would consider the GT calipers to be more mainly street with light track use. The GTS are kind of the opposite. They're more track focused than street focused. So does that mean you can't drive them on the street? Absolutely not. You absolutely can, but some things that you'll notice is you'll probably get a lot of squeaking with these pads, which I think people who kind of go for the track inspired builds and like the race car and street car type of vibes, no one really minds the squeaky brakes, but these are so, so cool. On the GTS, you do not get any color options. You just get this like kind of matte black, matte gray finish with the red on there. I think that's the color that we're gonna rock for SEMA. So we're gonna go ahead and start diving into these front brakes. I've never done a BMW setup before. Should be relatively straightforward, just like all the other brakes. This isn't our first big brake kit. This is our first Brembo one, so it feels a little bit special. So Dylan and I are gonna get after this today. We're gonna try to get this all out because in a couple hours, we have H3 showing up and we have to get the brakes on the car so H3 can scan for a wheel fitment before SEMA. We're taking off this caliper. I've never done BMW before, so it's kind of like a little slow process to make sure I do everything right. This was so hard to get off. Normally we're used to dealing with stuff being so old that it's like seized and rusted on. This is just like so new and so like factory spec that it took forever to get off. We actually ended up having to get the big impact with air and like find a way to get the gun in there and break them loose. Now that both of them are loose, we're gonna take off the top bolt holding in the caliper. Hopefully this slips right off. And then once this is off, I'll probably try and find a way to hang the caliper and then we're trying to take off the rotor and then we'll do the lines. I about to do the lines last, it's just the messiest thing and I always find a way to get brake fluid everywhere. So I like to kind of do that last so I don't make a mess all over myself. With the front caliper removed, I just hung it here on the back. One thing when doing this, you gotta make sure to remove this little sensor. The sensor wraps around all the way to the back. There's a little like safety box. Open that up and you can get it out. Are you stepping on the brake? She's gonna be loud. There she goes. All right, just like that, there's a simple little nut that holds in the rotor, super, super easy. Now that the stock rotor is gone, we're gonna go ahead now and do my favorite part, which is removing the lines and getting brake fluid everywhere. It's usually how it is in the past for me. So let's go ahead and tackle that. All right, I disconnected the brake line on the back of the caliper. That is now off. We're gonna have to find how to transfer over the sensor because I'm not sure how to do that. I've never done that before. So now with that off, uh, the brake line, we're just gonna loosen this 11 on the top once that comes off. I assume that that will just come off. I assume. I'm not quite sure, but we'll find out in a sec. Our new brake line is installed. Now before we put in the new rotor and before we put on the new caliper and all the fun stuff, we need to figure out that sensor. I have no idea. Maybe we can like Google search BMW like sensor replacement on the pads or on the caliper. Um, but that was, relative, that was relatively easy. I just figured out the brake pad wear sensor and it probably took us way too long to figure out. We were just being extra, extra careful. So there's a little sensor that you pull out of this caliper right here. And then when you put it up to the Brembo one, 
it fits way tighter than the stock one does. So when you push it in, we initially tried pushing it in, that's what she said, and it wouldn't go. It was like pretty stuck. And after about like 10 minutes or so, I kind of just figured out, I was like, dude, you just gotta like really push it in there and then it fits in super nice. So this is ready to go back in the car. We're just gonna go ahead and um, slip this over the rotors and attach our brake lines and this side should be done. I'm gonna try and do this fast so I won't spill over myself. We're gonna get this brake line. I'm gonna hold the caliper over here. I'm gonna try to thread the brake line just so we can close that up and then try to wipe everything down. And then we'll slip everything on the new rotor. I'm not eating it. All right, this was super hard to film and do all at the same time, but everything is in. The bracket is a little bit confusing because it goes in differently than the stock bracket does, meaning like the bracket that attaches the back of the caliper, which is right, where is it? It's down here, really hard to find. It threads in the other way than what it does with the stock caliper, so that kind of threw me off. I kind of second guessed myself because I didn't have instructions, but uh, when double checking everything, that's how it fits. So everything is in there nice and good. We still need to bleed them but this wheel is completely finished. Brake lines are tight, caliper is tight, rotor is tight, all the lines are back in where they need to go, um, and everything is free and clear. So now this side is done, we're gonna do it all over again, but now on the other side. All right, moving on to the passenger side. This side's gonna be a little bit easier, one, because we don't have that brake wear sensor, uh, and two, we kinda already know what we're doing, so we'll uh, try to go as fast as we can, hopefully not spill as much brake fluid, and should be easy. Keyword, should be. We like didn't film any of it because we were trying to go as quick as physically possible. But I think that other side took us like over an hour of figuring it out. And once we like figured out how to do it, we just did this side in like 10 minutes, <laughs> like maybe. Super straightforward once we learn how to like kind of do it as quick as possible. Um, and there was no sensor on this. So I mean, everything literally snaps right back in. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now we just have to bleed it, which we'll probably do after HRE gets here because we don't need brakes to scan wheels. But that was super easy. I'm super hyped that we were able to get these on the car before SEMA. Like I said, I don't think that many people are gonna have them. So the fact that we were able to get them as early as we did and kind of be one of the first guys, pretty, pretty cool. So we're here with H3 right now. We're getting scans for the car. What really makes this valuable for us is that we're able to get precise measurements with this 3D scanner. So what we're essentially doing is we'll put the car at drive pipe, we'll put the car at full height, we'll put the car at slam. So right now we slammed the rear of the car. So our goal when we are slammed is to have the wheel tuck perfectly and just tuck the edge of the wheel and tuck all the meat up. So right now when we go all the way down, we're seeing how much room we have to play. And all this kind of depends on how wide of a wheel. We know that we can run like a 13 inch barrel in here is super easy. People are running like 305s on a stock body, but sometimes you might want to sacrifice the rear width to get more tuck. So we're finding that good balance of how much we can go and how much we want to do and being careful that because we're going to be using a 19 inch wheel, we need to make sure that there is an R888 size that works. There's luckily for us, there's a lot of R888s and 19s, meaning they have 345s, a 325, a 305, a 295, a 275, a 265, etc. So we have a lot of plate, we have a lot of sizes we can go, we have a lot of sizes we can pick, and we also need to figure out too, do we wanna do a big stretch, a small stretch, complete flush, all that like literally all goes into play when doing these measurements. So we're gonna play with the rears, which as you can see, the thing gets buried in there, it's gonna look super good when we have it actually flush. And then when we do the fronts, we're gonna bury it again and see how it looks. And what's cool is look, that Brembo brake fits on the stock wheel. So that's a pretty cool feature for those who actually do wanna end up getting the Brembos and you have stock wheels, it fits with actually a good amount of clearance, surprisingly enough. All right, and that is the end of this video. We're gonna get back to finishing the rest of the kit. What do you think about those, baby? Those big, nice, 
Brakes. Those big, nice brakes from Brembo. Damn. Damn, boy! <laughs> super, super awesome to get this before SEMA. We still need to get that little tag off and clean them up with the uh, brake parts cleaner, make it nice and good. But super happy with how that turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this little install video. This should be the first install video ever for installing a Brembo big brake kit on the car. We're gonna get back to working on this kit, but I wanted to make this its own special video because I think install videos on brand new cars are pretty cool to do. So I want to do like its own install video for it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.